Eric Bledsoe forgot how basketball works and dribbled in from the sidelines. Giannis set a new record in his game against the Clippers, while Kawhi helplessly watched from the sidelines. The Clippers are taking his load management seriously. Hi everyone, it's Devin Howard back again with more sports news. If you want to follow me on IG, you can find me there at Devin Howard. And I know you want to stay on top of the latest sports news, so subscribe, ring the bell, and give this video a like, and share it with your friends. In just a second, I'll be telling you about how Giannis set a new record, but first we need to address how Eric Bledsoe basically forgot how to play basketball. In Wednesday's Bucks Clippers game, he had a pretty good time. He scored 20 points with 6 rebounds, and they walked away winners, 129 to 124. But towards the end of the game, he had a, a bit of a moment where it seemed like he completely forgot the rules of basketball. He was tasked with inbounding the ball and decided to dribble in from the sideline when an official handed him the ball. Watch it here. Exactly what they did here. He was charged with a turnover on that play. And then in another funny moment, he gave us one of the most successful flops of the season. That's, that's a sell job by Eric Bledsoe. And Doc Rivers is pulling a timeout. He's going to challenge that. Doc's going to use his challenge. Clippers coach Doc Rivers challenged the call of an offensive foul. Officials somehow didn't see enough to overturn the foul, which stood as called on the court. Another notable moment in last night's game was when the Greek freak broke a record. Giannis took home the MVP trophy last season, so naturally we've had high expectations for the Bucks player, and so far he's exceeded them. Giannis put up 38 points, 16 rebounds, and 9 assists, which helped him set a new record. He is now the first player ever in NBA history to put up 200 points, 100 rebounds, and 50 assists in the first eight games of a season. It's a pretty remarkable moment for the athlete, but of course we have to have the negative Nancys who come out of the woodwork and comment how stats like these are typically meaningless. Regardless of whether or not that's true, it's still impressive and shows that Giannis is definitely living up to the hype surrounding him. The Bucks win is also making them look more and more like they could be championship contenders this season, but their game against the LA Clippers might not have been completely fair, and that's because Kawhi was sitting out. He's missed consecutive national TV games one week apart, but the Clippers are holding tight to their rule of resting players. NBA spokesman Mike Bass said, quote, Kawhi Leonard is not a healthy player under the league's resting policy and, as such, is listed as managing a knee injury in the LA Clippers injury report. The league office, in consultation with the NBA's director of sports medicine, is comfortable with the team medical staff's determination that Leonard is not sufficiently healthy to play in back-to-back -back games at this time. Doc Rivers says there isn't a plan or strategy in place for when and why Leonard doesn't play, particularly when it comes to back-to-backs. He said it's more about letting him heal after each game. Rivers does sympathize with fans who buy tickets just to see Kawhi play, but ultimately he has to do what's best for his players. Fumble fans, tell me what you think about Eric's inbound dribble and flop. Also, what do you think about Kawhi sitting out back-to-back -back national televised games. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back later with more sports news.